Hi folks, Rasmus here. A lot of people have asked me about the electronics in the wheelhouse, so uh, I will give a little tour. To start from the front, we have uh, one of the, I don't know, we we'll call them manuring sticks or whatever, with the, the rudder here, the bow thruster, and uh, the engine control which we have a second one over here. So uh, this one is basically only used when we maneuver in the, inside the harbor because all the rest of the time I will be using this while I am standing in the back of the wheelhouse. Here I have a uh, controls over the the two winches here the net drums or whatever you call them and then I have for the three uh, split winches for the the wires and uh, this one is the this one would we use to uh, take the fish on board and this is for the winch out here and then I have a uh, three controls here which I use to uh, I don't know if you can see it I can uh, move the the wire rollers or whatever they are called in English uh, from from each to each side so I can uh, uh, have all the wires in either side if uh, if it's a strong current that is uh, pressing the ship to help me have better control and then I have a TV camera here where I have the option to have four different the screen or the, the drum up front like that and then we have a printer over here and this monitor that until a year ago was with uh, surveillance camera but uh, we don't have that anymore uh, and we have our intercom system which uh, if you have seen any of the videos you will see that the guys are wa uh, always on deck with the with the helmet on and uh, then I have the headset here so uh, we can uh, talk together and uh, I simply cannot recommend it enough. It's uh, incredibly uh, nice uh, and a very important safety feature. Yes, then we have uh, uh, switches uh, for all the different lights on deck, and we have uh, the um, uh, steering engine or whatever the the hydraulic engine that is uh, running the rudder where when we are towing we only use one but when we are taking the nets up or if we are maneuvering we have uh, both turned on because then uh, the rudder is uh, twice as fast and here i have uh, uh, my hydraulic uh, on and off and uh, I have here so I can trim the ship and uh, control over the two uh, auxiliary engines. Again, when we are taking the nets up, working with the nets, we are using both of them at the same time. Uh, yes. Then I have a computer here where I have uh, my electronic uh, logbook where I sent uh, the catch report uh, after each uh, tow and here I have uh, my uh, my fish packing program where I can see what uh, fish they have uh, packed from the every uh, every haul and then we can continue up I have a uh, this radio that uh, is uh, where we talk with our colleagues, 
and just a normal uh, car radio. And then I have a couple of uh, GPS and uh, temperature from the fish room and uh, from the freezer. And I can see if we are making uh, ice. And then I have a TV box and this is uh, the fuel meter. So right now we are using 185 liter fuel per hour. And uh, a small radar here. And then a TV that I'm not using right now. And then I have my Olex plotter. I just got this and I've been wanting it for a very long time. And uh, it's really, really nice. It got uh, 3D uh, graphics that uh, right now this is uh, 70 fathoms and this is 100. Uh, it's a bad place to show what it really can, but uh, might make a video about that later. Then down here I have uh, another screen with the surveillance cameras from uh, the engine room and my big radar and uh, then I have a, a Sodena uh, chart uh, where you can see the ship is here and uh, we are supposed to steer clear of these things and then we have uh, the Maxi here that is sort of the same and not the same. And then uh, over here I have uh, various gorges for the main engine and some alarms. And then I have uh, my uh, echo sounder and uh, it's uh, not a lot of fish to see here and another echo sounder and here we have the the second uh, engine control as you can see right now the pitch is uh, 91 percent and the shaft the uh, rpm is 220 and uh, i think it's something like a thousand rpm on the engine and uh, two uh, in uh, turbo pressure and then i have a control uh, unit for the this radar and then i have the autopilot here Uh, and then I have a control unit for the scantrol system, which uh, is what we have here, where you can see the length of the wires, and it uh, it uh, can uh, take the wires home uh, automatically. And then we have. Uh, a couple of VHF radios and uh, uh, they should call them mid-frequency transmitter or something like that and then we have a GPS compass and uh, the AIS which is uh, what transmits our position and name and all that if you ever look us up on marine traffic and then we have the intercom here and then finally and i think that's what a lot of you uh, think is funny to see is the scanma system we don't have the new system this is the scanmate 6 but it's uh, fine for our needs uh, we have uh, the total distance between the doors right now uh, and then it's uh, the door, clump, and door. 
but we are using two different trawls right now because uh, we have one that is broken so uh, it's not alarming that uh, this one is a little bit uh, less uh, spread out than the other and then we have our symmetry sensors as you saw right before i, I just turned uh, the boat and uh, now it starts uh, getting a little bit out of uh, symmetry and i can uh, I can adjust that uh, by uh, uh, by uh, shortening the wire and lengthening this wire if if I want to. And then I have the catch sensor here, which uh, fortunately is red. Uh, we have a feeling that it's between 40 and 50 boxes uh, when it turns uh, what we call solid red. And uh, this is the history, uh, as you can see, it's uh, right now it's three hours since we started towing. If you can see the speed is just uh, going down here. And we have the, the speed over the ground here, it's uh, been averaging around 3.4 knots. And uh, after a bit over one hour we had the first blink as we called it and it's been uh, solid red now for one and a half hour something like that yes that was the grand tour of uh, the wheelhouse here in Kabak or not so grand I don't know we're not uh, the most modern boat but uh, that's how it is uh, if you like this video thumbs up and subscribe thank you